According to the American Lung Association, it's reported that approximately one quarter of the world's population carries the bacteria Myobacterium tuberculosis in its latent state. TB is a medical abbreviation for tuberculosis. If you ever happen to come across this pesky airborne bacteria, have no fear. Out of the people who pick up the bacteria from breathing it in, only five to 10% of those affected experience progression from latent TB infection to active tuberculosis disease in their lifetime, which is the state where it becomes infectious. When infectious, the active bacteria can be expelled into the environment from sneezes, coughs, or even laughs, and then travel via airborne water droplets, where they can be inhaled by someone else breathing the same air. Yikes. TB bacteria can exist in two forms, active and latent. In its latent form, the bacteria is dormant and does not cause symptoms. And if the bacteria become active, assisted by a weakened immune system or rapid initial settlement in the lungs, they grow and multiply, eventually attacking the lungs and various parts of the body. Sometimes this process may occur within days or weeks. Other times they can lie dormant and become active years later, which is yet another reason you should keep your immune system healthy and strong with good nutrition and exercise. TB is nothing new. It has been stated to be the second leading infectious killer at one point in time, but has been around for over a millennium, dating back to 3000 BC. In 2021, there were 4.8 cases of active TB per 100,000 persons in Canada. And in 2021, there were 2.4 cases per 100,000 persons in the US, while the world average was 134 cases per 100,000 persons globally. TB tends to be more prevalent in certain regions, primarily Asia, Eastern Europe, and Sub-Saharan Africa. In 2022, the largest number of new TB cases occurred in WHO's Southeast Asian region, 46%, followed by the African region, 23%, and the Western Pacific, 18%. Around 87% of new TB cases occurred in the 30 high TB burning countries. The CDC recommends travelers avoid high risk settings such as crowded hospitals, prisons, or homeless shelters with no infection control measures in place. Regardless of what region in the world you're in, being aware of the environment and your health can make a difference in protecting your well being. 95% of deaths due to TB are usually found in low to middle income areas that have characteristics of overcrowding, poor ventilation, and unsanitary conditions. Now, if you've been around someone carrying active TB for a long time, your chances of contracting increase, especially depending on your age, young or older, genetics, or immune system health affected by diseases, nutrition, and certain medications taken. Other high risk factors include tobacco use and conditions such as HIV and diabetes. Conventional treatment for TB includes antibiotics commonly taken for six to nine months. Unfortunately, some strains of TB are developing antibiotic drug resistance. Drug resistant TB strains occur when the antibiotic does not kill the myobacterium tuberculosis bacteria. The surviving bacteria develop a resistance to the antibiotic and to other antibiotics as well. The World Health Organization warns that drug resistant TB remains a public health crisis. Now, the good news is that people with a latent TB infection are not infectious and cannot spread the TB infection to others. Most people's immune systems naturally fight off the growth of TB germs, and tuberculosis disease is preventable and curable. With the increase in drug-resistant TB, researchers are searching for naturally-based supportive therapies. Studies show essential oils such as Salvia eratosensis, or Lamisei, Ternera diffusa, or Damiana, Lipia americana, or Verbena, and Eucalyptus citriodora, or lemon eucalyptus can help fight tuberculosis bacteria and diffusing lemon eucalyptus for inhalation therapy can reduce the spread of TB. Vitamin D3 and adaptogenic herbs such as astragalus and redolia can boost immunity and have anti-TB benefits too. And that is it. To learn more about common TB treatments, side effects, and prevention, visit us over at medshadow.org.